I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. A Brazilian judge who was caught driving a court-seized Porsche now admits to also embezzling $265,000 of drug money. Oh yeah, and I have not paid for my cable in years. If king for a day sounds a bit too majestic, well, a small Hungarian village will let you become deputy mayor for a few days. The 18-person village has put itself up for rent to companies and tourists. For 210,000 forints, about $750 or 690 euros a day, a prospective renter gets seven guest houses that sleep 39 people, four streets, a bus stop, a barn, a chicken yard, six horses, two cows, three sheep, and four hectares, about 10 acres of farmland, along with the possibility of temporarily being named deputy mayor. It's just a temporary assignment, of course. The idea is to learn your political corruption quickly and then go back to the U.S. and run for office in Chicago, where it's expected. When Richard Bootman of the U.K. opened a bag of potato chips recently, inside the bag he found a whole, uncut and unpeeled potato, but no chips. Bootman discovered the whole spud in a package of snack right steak and onion crisps he purchased at an Aldi's grocery store. There you go! proof that British food is horrible. London's firefighters say sun rays refracted by a Nutella jar likely caused a house fire. The city's fire brigade says investigators believe the glass jar, which had been emptied of the hazelnut spread, had been placed on a windowsill and refracted sunlight, setting blinds alight. According to a statement by the brigade, the family was not at home, but the blaze did kill a dog. Fire investigator Charles Pugsley said, "...it sounds far-fetched that a jar containing a few rubber bands caused a severe house fire, but that's exactly what happened." This whole explanation sounds Nutella. Of course, you know what's next – warning labels on Nutella jars saying, "...leave in cool, dry place, as jar may cause your house to burst into flame. Keep away from pets." The Treasury's Deputy Inspector General said fake IRS agents have been targeting people with harassing phone calls, demanding payments, and threatening jail as part of a huge nationwide tax scam. You can tell they're fakes, though. Some of the victims aren't even tea partiers. There's a bad smell in parts of the Louisville, Kentucky area, but nobody knows where it's coming from. Media reports say city crews have been trying for nearly a week to pin down the odor that smells like mildew, but so far they've had no luck. Louisville Metro Area Pollution Control District spokesman Tom Nord – that's right, taxpayers are paying the guy to be the Louisville Metro Area Pollution Control District spokesman – says the agency is doing its best to track the odor. Currently, crews are driving around the city and searching the old-fashioned way with their noses. Nord says dozens of people have called from different areas of the city that aren't normally associated with bad smells. Which means there are parts of Louisville that are associated with bad smells. Like maybe the government offices of the Louisville Metro Area Pollution Control. Maybe they should be looking to see if anybody recently relocated from there. An Illinois mom who wanted her children to watch less TV allegedly fired a Ruger 22 long rifle at the family's 50-inch flat screen. Police charged Jennifer Ulry with reckless discharge of a firearm, unlawful possession of a firearm without a license, and three counts of endangering the health and safety of a child. The kids went to their rooms and resumed watching TV on their phones. A man dressed as Darth Vader robbed a North Carolina bank this week and left with thousands of dollars. The robbery victims were disappointed, though, when his weapon turned out to be a gun and not Jedi mind control. I find your lack of $20 bills disturbing. 
That's your Daily Dose of Weird News. I'm Darren Marlar. Get the YouTube version at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. While you're there, you can also join the Daily Dose of Weird News Facebook group to see other weird news stories or post your own. Download the free app for Apple or Android, sign up for my newsletter, visit me on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, check out audiobooks that I've voiced, and more. It's all at one place, DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Until next time, keep it real. Weird. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you like what you saw, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to also click that little gear icon next to the subscribe button and select send me updates so you'll be notified when I post new videos.